He was a French naturalist and explorer of the mid-19th century. He is known for his childhood spent in Russia and possibly parts of Asia. He is recognized for his contributions to the study of Angkor. His name is Alexander Henri Muhat. In the annals of history, there are figures whose indomitable spirit and thirst for discovery have forever changed the course of human knowledge and understanding. One such luminary was Alexander Henri Muhat, a French naturalist and explorer of the mid 19th century. Born in Montbilliard, Du, France, near the Swiss border, Muhat's adventurous spirit was ignited from an early age. While his childhood was spent in Russia and possibly parts of Asia, it was his later expeditions that would define his legacy. Muhat's name is most closely associated with his explorations of the region of Angkor. His fascination with this ancient civilization led him to embark on a journey of discovery, seeking to unravel the mysteries of this captivating land. It was during his travels in Southeast Asia that Muhat made his mark, uncovering the forgotten ruins of Angkor and bringing them to the attention of the wider world. Tragically, Muhat's life was cut short near Naphan, Laos, but his legacy lives on. His tomb, a testament to his intrepid spirit and unwavering dedication, can be found just outside of Ban Phanom, to the east of Luang Prabang. His discoveries and documentation of Angkor have had a profound impact on the world, shedding light on a once lost civilization and opening the doors to further exploration and understanding. Alexander Henri Muhat's expeditions have left an indelible mark on the world, transcending borders and inspiring the hearts of adventurers everywhere. As we reflect upon the explorers of the mid-19th century, we are reminded of a man whose name stands tall among history's great explorers, Alexander Henri Muhat, a visionary whose legacy continues to ignite the flames of curiosity and courage in all who dare to dream. In Montbilliard, a town in Dieu, young Henri grew up surrounded by a love for learning and exploration. Inspired by his father's passion for natural sciences, Henri developed a keen interest in the world around him. As he embarked on his educational journey, he discovered the captivating art of photography, honing his skills under the guidance of Louis Daguerre's techniques. By 1856, Henry's thirst for knowledge led him to delve deeper into the study of natural sciences. However, it was a book, The Kingdom and People of Siam, by Sir John Boring, that ignited a spark within his adventurous soul. Fascinated by the descriptions of the exotic flora and fauna of Indochina, Henri resolved to embark on a botanical expedition to collect zoological specimens. Despite facing initial setbacks, with French companies and Napoleon III's government rejecting his requests for grants and passage, Henry's determination remained unwavering. Thankfully, the Royal Geographical Society and the Zoological Society of London recognized his potential and offered their support. In 1857, Henry set sail for Bangkok, embarking on a voyage filled with anticipation. His journey took him through the bustling streets of Singapore, a vibrant crossroads of cultures. With his camera in hand and a spirit of exploration in his heart, Henri ventured into the unknown, eager to uncover the secrets of Indochina's rich biodiversity. If you want to discover more adventurers on YouTube, make sure to hit that subscribe button for my channel, and don't forget to leave a comment in the section below, telling us which adventurers you'd like us to feature next.